lecture i am going to discuss about the points which aren't discussed in the ncert i mean which are not included in your ncert's books so just let's get started without any delay as carries lumbricoids are are commonly called as round worms as you people know they are pseudocoelomate and they belongs to phylum ascelminthes or nematelminthes they are dioecious male and female can be distinguished by their shape i mean based on their shape structure and through and as male contains covered tail pineal spicules pineal spicules are are helpful in copulation as they serve to transfer the sperms during copulation and female can be can be observed by female genital pore or vulva on one third from on one third length from its anterior end and with a and it contains a straight tail and they sexually reproduce in our body i mean human body and they can lay 2 lakhs eggs per day and this uh, this this is the normal view of a single egg and this is lateral lateral section of the egg and you people can see here these this is the protein coat this outer layer i mean this surrounding is protein coat and chitinous shell is followed by it and then lipid layer and cytoplasm and the nucleus okay and they they are they can be viable they can remain viable for about 6 years in moist soil in favorable conditions okay then we go to here i mean their life cycle after the copulation female releases 2 lakhs eggs per day okay then those eggs are called as mammalian eggs and now what are mammalian eggs mammalian eggs are those eggs which are covered by thick shells or rippled surfaces as you can see here these are called as rippled surfaces these are covered by protein coat as well okay then the development of the the development of this egg i mean development takes place in soil inside the egg to produce first stage rhabditiform larva that undergoes first molting and then second stage rhabditiform larva reaches new host through contamination contamination is like that like uh, food food contamination or water contamination whatever they are and then shell gets dissolved this this shell okay this shell gets dissolved in the small intestine and that reaches liver through hepatic portal vein okay and then reaches heart through post caval vein and then <coughs> reaches lungs through pulmonary arteries and then reaches alveoli and second molting takes place in alveoli and then third stage rhabditiform larva is produced and then third molting also takes place in alveoli itself and then fourth stage rhabditiform larva is produced and then it migrates to bronchi trachea larynx glottis and then pharynx to esophagus to stomach and later small intestine and from hepatic portal vein to i mean it reaches through hepatic portal vein okay from liver to small intestine this is called as extra intestinal migration it shows okay then the young one is produced in small intestine and they become adults and sexual cycle continues and ha one thing the number of hosts is one and that is human this is the most expected questions in some pmts okay it undergoes molting in soil this these two points you must and should remember at any cost 
okay don't forget it and then at last diseases ascariasis causes severe abdominal pain and stunted growth in children and internal bleeding can also be seen i mean can be felt in the patient who who is suffering from ascariasis and then you must retain some 11th class knowledge here as by seeing the stunted growth in children where did you see stunted growth in the case of pituitary dwarf or thyroid dwarf isn't it pituitary dwarf is caused by the under secretion of growth hormone which is secreted by anterior pituitary or adenohypophysis okay then pet and then thyroid dwarf it is I mean it causes by under secretion of thyroxine hormone by thyroid gland and i hope you people enjoyed this video by learning the concept as caries lumbricoids here if yes so please subscribe to my channel and like this video and share it thank you